like being lazy and uh, trying to get out as least, take as much, least, I'm having a stroke today, taking the least amount of stuff off as possible. Ultimately, it can make the job shorter or it can make it take a lot longer. So, a small caveat to this video uh, this machine has a uh, has a front differential that has a pinion ring pinion that got messed up and the cost of it was just prohibitive so I resealed the front tightened up the pinion nut with the new nut locked tight it in place and staked it so it can't come out it doesn't make any noise right now but what the customer wanted was to invest the least amount of money in repairs as necessary to keep the unit going until it's replaced. Okay, so I have some leaky fuel lines and I've already taken these off and on several times. Clean the seats up. And the reason for that caveat is normally I would go more out of my way to make sure everything's super clean when doing this type of repair. <laughs> I can see it leaks because I tried, it's already tight. I tried loosening it and seating it back down. I've actually previously already looked at this because I already, already got new lines. Let's go ahead and mark ourselves safe from Al Qaeda. All broke loose. Got ourselves locked out, tagged out. Nobody can get crazy on us. Did they tell you the front end's grinding? Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. Sad day. Yeah. Is that why it got brought over here? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, how bad is it? I don't know. I haven't okay. been in it. But, uh, well, I'm going to fix this fuel leak since they already okayed it. Right. And then I'll take it out for a drive and see how bad it is. Yeah. See if that nut maybe came loose again. That could be. Yeah. Good shape. That's why I'm like 90% sure it's just the it's just the uh, fuel line. Okay, got those snuck out of there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If I can make it to where you guys can see.
And if you guys watch my shorts, which I'll link a short that's related to this in the video, I freaking got a rubber O-ring stopped up behind one of the return lines and made a lot of trouble for myself. I can get this one snuck out of here because this one. We'll see which one comes off first. Cool. Just like that. So then, gotta reach up in here. <sighs> that one loose. The struggle is real. There we go. And there's a, a line being held on right there. Got my little pocket scroogey. Yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. I guess you can see that kind of. There we go. Let me lower you a little bit. You might be able to see that. Okay. Size those are, but if you guys heard the operator earlier, they brought this over because the freaking front differential's grinding again. Now, this machine had a pinion the bearing get loose on it, and it chewed it up pretty good. This is a machine that. They like to keep running, but I basically got told don't put any money in it unless it absolutely needs it because the, the front axle on this thing was a hundred grand. So I offered to rebuild it, but the you know, parts alone, that pinion ring set was like, I don't know, I think they said 30,000. So anyways, they decided no, we're not gonna put we're not going to spend that kind of money on it. If you can keep it alive for us, thanks. Oh, shit. Set this off to the side. So that return line right here has made it to where I can't sneak that up and out like I want to. Now there is a ceiling washer on both sides of this that we don't want to lose. That guy right there. Like I said, this is on the return side. And I appreciate you making it this far into the video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button like, share, put a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Ah, cool. Not cool. Oh, cool. Come on, baby. There we go. I like games, see what I'm doing. Ah, 
Not ideal, but it worked. You can see my other project there in the background. <laughs> oh, crap. And we're gonna fish this difficult one in first. On that side of the line. Slip this up there. Just gonna get those set there so they stay fairly clean. Well, and this has that fuel line there. Got that set up there. That over here. Oops. Okay. Get these dropped in here. Well, we go. Water Frank. I'm actually going to leave that one loose because this guy is so hard to get on. I forgot to show you this part. Zoom out. So. Anyways, so yeah. Slip that in there. Go behind these lines. But like I said, I'm going to wait because. Uh, that fuel line is very hard to put on with all this in the way. So, I'll go ahead and get this last one fed up in place. I'm done because this one's a pain in the butt. have a co-worker and when you get stuff like this so it's kind of frustrating you go good night <sighs> maybe it's a southern thing I don't know so I need these three lines to move over so I'm gonna use this to pry I'm gonna use my noggin to hold it I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I got my head on the pry bar, if that's not in, in the shot. <laughs> and then I'll get this kind of close and then I'll pry over with my noggin. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. 
Let me do some cranking of things. Best part about working on diesel is you can smell like diesel all day. That's what I always say. Everybody that's fixed. 